Sit down, Church. There's something you don't know about the Antaeus cruisers, information that only a handful of people have ever been privy to, and that's been kept classified for the past 20 years. I'm listening. You've heard of Soul Catcher? Classified 1990s American military program? Theoretical research into storing human brain functions on silicon. It was closed in the late 90s to make funds available for the advancement of the SETI programs. Mostly correct, but it was never closed. Far from it. Every crew member on an Antaeus vessel was fitted with a Soul Catcher chip. If they ever died in combat, their thoughts, their abilities, their minds were stored on silicon, ready to be salvaged and used again to pilot his specially adapted craft built using the cruiser's onboard nanofactories. That's not all. The Soul Catcher system proved fine for most tasks, but it was crucial that the captain of a cruiser should always be corporeal, a real human with a real mind. This presented the scientists and technicians with a problem. The chips could survive being inactive for years on end, but how could a human be stored? How could they put a human being in stasis? The answer, unfortunately, was that they couldn't. So who? Walker. Sir? Church. Sir? Have you finished your briefing yet, Walker? No, sir. I was just... It'll have to wait. I've just heard from Central, and the news isn't good. Of the reactivations, only one has been successful. Antaeus Prototype Double Zero. What about Zero Four? Cerebral damage. It won't respond to the reactivation signal. We'll have to go with just the one cruiser. It's within a day of the last known position of the Spec Ops team, and is in a serviceable condition. When you say serviceable... Propulsion is online. Command is online. The net link is working. Scanners are online. The main guns are down. Replication is offline. Automated lifting is offline. How much can be repaired using the nano repair systems? Ah, uh, providing we're careful. Enough to hold the ship together. Until we can get it to a disused wet dock, situated 65 kilometers east of the current position. A mini-tech repair team is being dropped into the area at 2300 hours today. They're going to stay concealed until the cruiser is within an hour of the wet dock, just in case we're being observed. They'll then activate the automated service systems and dock the carrier.